Babies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a lovely, gentle, fragrant lavender aloe cream facial cleanser. And Lottie just wandered into the studio, so I thought I would pull her up for a little bit of a hello. I've given her a little bit of a quarantine haircut, and I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also grown out quite a lot since, uh, since I first gave it to her, and it looks a lot better with <laughs> a little bit of growing out, but hi. This cream facial cleanser was inspired by the cleansing conditioners I've been sharing on Humble Bee and Me. I had a little bit of a bing light bulb moment thinking about how I could gently repurpose the overall structure of that formulation to make something that's a lovely gentle facial cleanser rather than a lovely gentle hair cleanser. The main cleansing ingredient in this cream facial cleanser is cocomidopropyl betaine, which is an amphoteric, very gentle surfactant made from coconuts. The oil phase is really simple and there's a lot of room for substitutions within it. So if you don't have something, please make sure you are reading the full blog post, which is linked in the description box below. At the end of every single post I share, there's a list of substitutions that will really help you sort of adapt formulations to the things that you already have on hand. You can also look up the ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more about why they're there, what they do, and what you can substitute them with. The oil phase is Polo Wax, our emulsifying wax, cetyryl alcohol for thickening, and some fractionated coconut oil for an inexpensive carrier oil. The water phase contains a hefty dose of moisturizing vegetable glycerin, fragrant lavender hydrosol, soothing aloe vera juice, and just a titch of xanthan gum for added body, some lovely slip, and further emulsion stabilizing goodness. I've been testing this cleanser for a while now and I find it's absolutely lovely. It's gentle but still very effective. It's the only thing I've been using to take off my face makeup, things like foundation, concealer, blush, sunscreen, though I am still using usually a cleansing oil or micellar water on a cotton pad to take off any eye makeup, especially if it is waterproof. I've been loving the low lather, the soft scent, and how it leaves my skin feeling clean without feeling tight or dry. This comes together just like any other lotion, so if you've ever made an emulsion before, this will come together in an absolute snap for you. Please do remember to read the accompanying blog post linked in the description box below. There's a lot more information there, information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy all the ingredients, and a whole lot more. But come on, let's get started. We're going to begin by combining the vegetable glycerin and the xanthan gum in our beaker. So you're going to need seven and a half grams vegetable glycerin and 0.15 grams xanthan gum. And before we add the rest of the ingredients in our water phase, it's going to thoroughly blend those two ingredients together to predisperse that xanthan gum and reduce the amount of clumping we'll experience. For the rest of our water phase, we'll need 10.1 grams distilled water, 15 grams lavender hydrosol, 10 grams aloe vera juice, and two grams cocomidopropyl betaine. For our oil phase, we'll need one and a half grams polo wax complete emulsifying wax, two grams satyryl alcohol, and one and a half grams fractionated coconut oil. Before we heat everything through, we're first going to weigh the water phase and note that weight so we can replace any water lost during the heating phase afterwards. To heat everything through, we're going to put it in a water bath. So this is a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about two centimeters or two thirds of an inch of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go pop this on the stovetop over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and bring everything to the same temperature. Once everything has heated through and melted, you can remove the water bath from the heat and then remove your beakers from the water bath. And now we're going to top up the water phase to that number we wrote down earlier with some preheated distilled water. To blend up this small batch, I'm going to use this little handheld mixer. There's an article on it in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia if you want to learn more about it. If you don't have a high powered small mixer, you'll probably want to double the batch so you can use your immersion blender instead. Can see that this is already thickening up really nicely. Uh, it is still quite warm so we're not ready to add the cool down phase yet um, but it is yeah getting all kinds of gorgeous and thick and creamy. All right so I'm gonna leave that to cool for about five minutes and come back and blend it some more. Five minutes later and this is continuing to thicken up beautifully. I'm gonna continue to uh, blend this. Up next is weighing out our cool down phase, which is just one ingredient, a quarter gram of liquid Dremel Plus, our preservative. 
And now all that's left to do is to package this up. For packaging, I'm going to use this two ounce, or about 60 milliliter squeezy bottle with a little flip disc top. And for a bit of decoration, I'm going to put a bit of purple washi tape on the bottle. And for a bit of a use demo, we'll grab kind of what's left over on the spatula and in that wee beaker here. So it's really quite low lather, but it does feel like a facial cleanser you know, between your hands. You do get that lovely, gorgeous slip and it does cleanse really, really beautifully. It's very gentle and rinses off really nicely. And there you go. So we just made a gorgeous lavender aloe cream facial cleanser. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are reading the partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below. You'll find a lot more information there, including information about where to buy all the ingredients, substitutions, scaling, shelf life, that lovely little mini mixer, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.